Oh my god, what is that? Donna, what is it? Come on, let's get. <laughs> Welcome to the isolated mangrove islands. I'm only using my bare hands to hopefully catch and cook something before the sun goes down today. Let's go. I've come across what definitely looks like a huge mud crab hole. It's gonna bring this GoPro in down by my hand so you guys can get a first person view of what I actually can't see. I couldn't feel anything. That's as far as I could stick my hand in there, so we'll keep moving on. I'm just heading towards these rocks up here. Oh, this is actually awesome. Look, 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 look. Whoa, whoa. What is that? There's big fish in here. Oh, shit. There's something big in this tide pool. It's gone under this rock. I'm going in with the bare hands. Hear that? Whoa! Whoa! There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Holy oh, shit. The biggest risk around here is definitely blooming octopus and stonefish. This is exactly where they be. Look above me. That's all razor sharp barnacles there. That'll cut open my back. A beautiful fish tail. Look at the color of that. We went too deep. Well played, Mr. Fish. You won this round. I've officially never stepped foot on this place before. I don't know if many people have or if anyone has before, especially a dog. There's been something stirring it up right here. A little bit of movement right there. I don't really know what it is. Oh shit! Yep, big mud crab. Big mud crab. Oh, look at the size of his nippers. <laughs> I don't wanna... Oh, mate. Mate. He's got him locked in. in. Oh. 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 Battle. Oh. Oh. oh! Look at that monster! Monster bloody mud crab. That's one of the biggest ones I've ever caught. Look at the size of that nipper. Holy shit, that's bigger than my hand. Big guys dominate. They go from hole to hole, nest to nest, and they just mate with all the females. So it's early days. I'll put this guy back, and we'll keep looking around. Oh! the big daddy. Nice to meet you. Oh, and keep moving. Jacko's going to be joining us from now on. Blue or white? I thought these uh, I'll go white for now. Right Cheers. Ah, oh, got their buttons. <laughs> God. If you want one of these, adventure shirts, youngbloods.co. some sort. Look at that, I've never seen a bottle like that before. What's that say? Oh, subscribe to YBS. <laughs> I want to clean this. Havana Boken Co. Rotterdam. Whatever the hell that is. Sounds like a Harry Potter spell. Havana Boken and Rotterdam! Whenever I get reception, which we're probably going to be later on, I'm going to find out exactly what that bottle is and how much it's worth. So hang around till then. <laughs> Crab tracks, yep. You can sort of see there his pincers there, and that's his nipper. He is running this way. So. Look. That's the skeleton of a fish. He would have had that in his claw. He's come this way along here. He's come this way. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a vicious life cycle. I won't disturb her too much because she wants to take my nose off. See you later, lovely lady. Woo! Huge mud crab just over there. Huge mud crab. Can you see him? Oh no, he's breeding. This is a male mud crab right here. He's only got one claw. He's lost it in battle. Underneath him is a female. The mating process is only just beginning. And he thinks that I'm another male mud crab coming to take 
he's female. Gotta be careful! See ya, buddy. That is a huge old nipper. I've come across a feeder here, and they're not always like this, so I'm gonna go for a little bit of adventure up this way. There's heaps of trapped fish in here. Oh, big mangrove jack. Oh, what was that? Down to big. This is why I love doing this. Got my best friend Strider with us. Just the bare hands. Every inch of this place is new. She's come across a female, and she's actually full of eggs. See all those eggs? Good luck on your migration. Go on. <laughs> So cool to see a really healthy ecosystem earlier on. We might be in for a lot of mud crab action. We're gonna keep moving though. In we go. Nothing. Look at this. Ooh, dead mud crab decomposing. Whoa. Bloody good sign though. <coughs> Smells so bad. What is it, Shredder? Oh, Shredder! What is a bit of coral over here, everyone, ladies and gentlemen? It's a vicious bit of coral. Go on, Shredder, let's get it. Go on, get it. Get it. <laughs> Look how green and beautiful this mangrove ecosystem is. I have not seen one this healthy before. It's like dropping all the old leaves here. Look at that. The orange color of these leaves. Look at the color. Awesome. I love you, mangrove ecosystem. Makes me happy. It, mangrove ecosystems are so bloody important. They offer shelter for all the millions and millions of species of fish and life and all that. Two, I think. Two. Yep, two mud crabs here. These mud crabs rely on camouflage. Oh! Okay, mate. So this is a male. Yep, yep. And that's a female, so I am not gonna grab these guys. They're obviously about to breed or in the breeding process. Well, these two finish what they're doing. See ya, mate. Come on, Shadow, let's go. Whoa, we hit some deep mud, boys. Oh. I seen a comment that someone was saying, what happens if you stand barefoot and all these little spikes coming up? Ow, ow. Don't worry, they just come straight back up. It doesn't hurt them. It definitely isn't the most pleasant feeling. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to whip me with that. So that's a dead. It's either shedded its shell or it's a dead young male. You wouldn't know that that's dead. <laughs> this crab here is literally this fella here. And do you want to know how I know that? I'll put this here and I'm gonna go in for the grab real quickly because he actually can't do anything to me. He is so soft. Look at that. I can put my finger in his actual nipper and he can't pinch down or anything, he's defenseless. So I'm gonna put him exactly where I found him because believe it or not, he is very well and healthy. He's just growing. And that's his old shell there. It literally just happened. Wow. That tide's starting to rush in, so we're gonna make it back to the boat and go looking around the high tide for all sorts of sea creatures, so don't go anywhere. And later on, when the tide starts rushing out, we're getting back into the tide pools, and we're gonna keep looking for something with our bare hands. Oh, 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 mud on the boat, Strider. Yes! <laughs> There's a sea snake right there just below the surface, and I swear it's got something in its mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, God. oh, oh, God. 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 Eating a venomous toad fish. The sea snake had it, the coach was biting it, and then after a process of sitting in it, it forced its 
hold them down and smash it. That's that wide sea snake can open them out and then just group and ate it all. I've never seen anything like that before. That was insane. Whoa, nature's crazy. It's getting dropped off on this island. Never been here before. Have no idea what to expect. And we're just gonna make the most of that. Shark, watch out for the shark. Damn, Strider. Oh, sharks, man. Coming to suss Strider. Just about to bloody wrestle it. I found one on eBay going for 350 Australian dollars. What, that bottle? Yep. Wait, that's so good. Free fitty. I found a mud crab here too. Right there. Not even joking. Look at that. One nipper. Female. I'll chuck her straight back. There's something huge here. It just went <clears throat> Just letting the dust settle a bit so I can uh, see <laughs> in case there's something really bad in there. I've never seen a nest like this before. Here we go. Can't feel anything yet. Oh, what the hell is that? That was weird. Oh! That just come out. What is that? This just come out of there. Went over here. I have no idea what this is, but it's big. Whoa! What is that? What is that? Look, 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 look. What was that? It went in here. <laughs> Whoa! What is going on here? Oh, 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 what the hell? It was a big cod. Whoa, that was crazy. I love that kind of stuff, man. Drider is gonna be peeking for a long time. There's something coming straight at me. What the hell is that? Look at this. What the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what is going? Strider out. What is that? Is that a shark? It's a shark. It's a dolphin. It's a dolphin. I thought it was a shark. It's playing with me. It's coming up to me. A dolphin wants to be my friend. Oh, it's hunting. It's hunting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Hey, buddy. <laughs> this is insane. There's a bloody dolphin. Smash a bait right up against the shore at my feet. I don't know what to say. It's blowing my mind. Whoa. I'm gonna leave that dolphin to do his thing. My heart is full, boy. Woo. This could be it. My first meal. Golden, boys. Oh, this doesn't get easy, I can tell you that much. He's about half an arm length in, guns blazing, bang, smack my arm straight away. <laughs> yeah! oh, God. Honestly, it does never get easier. Yep, yep, yep. Got him. I got him. I got him. We got a big mud crab, baby. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, he's a monster. Big male. That is absolutely exactly what we're after. Oh my god. Oh. But so far, in the space of like 10 meters, I've seen two monsters this size. So they must be absolutely bloody everywhere around here. So taking this guy won't do any harm. And he's going to be our lunch strider. Finally, we've been out here for more than 24 hours. And this is going to be our first meal. The sun is just setting. And there we have it. Mud crab! Got a little bit of fire baby cranking right now, just waiting for the coals. I've got the mud crab, but of course he's been humanely dealt with, ready to go on the fire. Ah, oh, stick in my back. Ah, oh, and I am getting bloody hungry. So don't go anywhere, guys. Got a pretty good coal base right now. So I'm just gonna sort of make a little oven with this coal base. 
there's about a 50% chance of me stuffing this up. It depends on how hot I make the fire, how good the coal base is, and more importantly, if there's any holes or cracks or anything in the crab, it won't act as an oven itself. But uh, hang around till the end, because uh, it's just a mystery. It's a 50-50. Anyway, this is one of my favorite parts. Oh, I'm literally licking my lips right now. Thank you, mate. Ooh, straight on. One of the most important things, I say it all the time, is to be selective and sustainable, only taking what you need. You've seen how many crabs that I've seen and I could have taken, but I just took this guy, and he's gonna be absolutely beautiful for a feed. So essentially, oh, he's already turning orange. I'm just gonna bury this guy in coals. Ah, damn, it is hot. So I'm probably gonna do 10 minutes on one side, flip him over five minutes on that side, but it does range depending on how hot the fire is. So, whoa! Let's put it over here for a little bit to, to cool down. I'm gonna crack open this big ocean lollipop here. There's that one. Get into this one. Oh! Yeah. Well, I can tell you that I <laughs> I can tell you I cooked that at about 96% efficiency. Only burnt off one leg. The rest is absolutely perfect. There's nothing left to do than smash this crab. I'll see you guys buddy soon. That's a wrap, baby. Yo!